If you're looking to start your own Amazon FBA business this year, then I'm gonna walk you through how to do that in just five steps. Selling has never been easier and more profitable, so the sooner you get selling, the sooner you can change your life. Now, the first step is to get set up so that you can sell on Amazon. And it's a lot simpler to do that today than it used to be a few years ago. The way to do that is to simply go to sell.amazon.com and to sign up for your own Amazon FBA seller account. They'll ask you a few simple questions, information about who you are, where you live, what country you'll be selling on, and then you're set up usually within a matter of minutes. Now, if you're worried about you not being able to sell at all on Amazon, don't worry about it because as of a month or two ago, Amazon now virtually lets anyone sell from almost any country. The only countries you cannot sell from are the following seven countries. Andorra, Cabo Verde, Cuba, Djibouti, Iran, North Korea, and North Macedonia. If you live in any other country, you're totally fine to sell on Amazon. Now, speaking of selling on Amazon, you also wanna sell on amazon.com, regardless of what country you live in. Now, a lot of people, you live in UK or Germany or Japan or Australia, you may want to sell on your own marketplace first, but from our own experience, selling on amazon.com to United States customers is the easiest way and the easiest place for a new seller to get started. So start off on amazon.com and then later on, once you've created your brand and started selling, you can always expand and move into different countries. Now, once you have your account set up, the next thing you wanna do is find your first product to sell. Now, there are a lot of different ways, a lot of different people teaching you how to find products to sell on Amazon, but we have found the perfect tool that simplifies that process unlike any other tool out there. Now, the tool is called Zoof, and we're working directly with the owners of Zoof in order to create this tool that simplifies this process. So let me show you exactly how simple it is. So first, when you go to zoop.com, you can sign up and get a free 14 day trial. So you can do everything. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And then in 13 days, if you found your product and don't wanna pay for Zoof, that's totally fine. Just cancel your membership. But go ahead and use Zoof right now for free and sign up for their free trial. Then once you're on Zoof, you can use the tool called Spotlight. Spotlight's gonna ask you two simple questions. Now, the first question is going to be, what is your budget? You can go as little as $1,000 for your first inventory order up to $100,000. But let's start with something much more reasonable and let's say that it's gonna be a $10,000 inventory budget. And again, if you have less, put in less for your first inventory order. Next, the only other question you have to answer is to tell Zoof what category you want to sell in. You can choose up to five different categories. Uh, so feel free to choose whatever ones are of interest to you. But for this, I'm gonna choose patio, lawn, and garden, and then click on the find opportunities button. And then all within a matter of seconds, Zoof goes out and searches through thousands of products that it's already found on Amazon and shows you the ones that are the best opportunities for you to sell in your selected categories. Now, this may seem overly simple compared to all the different ways you've probably heard about finding products out there, but Zoof is doing all those complicated calculations in the background so you don't have to. It's looking at the, the competition. It's looking at how much revenue each of these products sells. It's also looking at what we call depth of market, how many other sellers are selling that product and are being able to be successful with it. And more importantly, something that no other tools even tried to do, it's looking at estimated profitability using all the different calculations in the background to estimate manufacturer costs and estimate shipping costs as well. So while it's doing all that in the background, you can just focus on which products you want to sell. So once you've found a few products that look interesting to you, the next step is going to be to find suppliers to make those products for you. Now let's imagine that I am going to sell rain chains, which I never heard of before, but I have seen these now. Uh, and so I wanna find a supplier to make rain chains. And that's as simple as going to a site like alibaba.com and typing in rain chains or whatever it is the product you're looking for. I'm going to hit search and then Alibaba is gonna go search through its database of hundreds of thousands, if not millions of suppliers who make products for companies all around the world and find the ones that make this particular product. So now that I typed in rain chains, I can scroll down and start seeing several products that look like the rain chains that I saw over in Zoof. Uh, if we wanna see exactly what they look like before I can click on rain chains, it's gonna pull up those products inside of Amazon. So here's several ones, look like these tulips, little brass canisters that collect water as they come down of a spout off a house. So those are the rain chains that I'm looking for in Alibaba. So if I look over here, I see these look very, very similar to ones that I was just looking for on Amazon and Zoof. 
so I can go look inside of the ring chains on this from the supplier on Alibaba. You can see the prices. They go anywhere from $12 when you're making a small order, anywhere from 15 to 600 pieces. Then if you order even more, uh, you're paying about 40% less. They go down to $7.60 each. And then if you're ordering over a thousand pieces, over $7.40 will be the cost for this one. So as you can see, the more you order over time, your cost for the product go down, which means that your profits actually go up over time. So I would go and look for probably three to five different suppliers on Alibaba that make the product that I'm looking for. And then I would contact them to get quotes. Now, even though the quotes are right here, we could just order these rain chains right here with the prices that we want to. But chances are that if I reach out to these suppliers and ask them for some discounts or something, they might even give me a better price than I'm seeing on the screen. So find three to five different suppliers, contact them and get quotes. And then the ones that give you the best quotes back, you can actually place your order or even check out some samples, ask them to send you some samples as well. So now we've covered getting set up selling on Amazon. We've talked about finding a product to sell using Zoof. And then we've also talked about finding suppliers on Alibaba. Now, the one thing you'll want to do after you find a supplier is have the product shipped to you as well, get a shipping estimate. So you could use Alibaba, as you can see right here, if I wanted to go out there and order, let's say 100 units, then you'll see that Alibaba is letting me ship the product straight from the supplier without me going out there and actually getting a shipping quote. But if you want to use a freight forwarder to get a shipping quote from a supplier that might be a little cheaper, you can go to a site called Freightos.com. So Freightos is an online marketplace that allows you to put in any types of products that you want shipped from anywhere in the world to anywhere in the world and give you an online quote. Not really an estimate, it's an exact quote. It's exactly what these different freight companies that are looking to ship products for you will charge you. So it makes the shipping process really easy. So products are made, either get them shipped straight from Alibaba or if you wanna use a separate freight forwarder, go to a site like Freightos and then find a freight forwarder who'll ship the products to you as well. All right, so once you have found a product and you know how you're gonna have it shipped to you, the next step then is to create your own listing for that product on Amazon. So if we go look at one of the top selling products here for the rain chains, this is the Monarch rain chain. Uh, you'll see that they have some nice images over here. I'm gonna click on them. You can see all the different pictures that they have listed for these rain chains. You're gonna wanna have your own pictures and create a listing just like this. It's pretty easy to do on Amazon. Once you have your seller central account set up and approved, then you'll be able to create listings just like this. But there's certain things you wanna do in order to have the best listing possible and get the most sales possible. Uh, and now, one of the key features of a good listing is doing good keyword research. Luckily, the same tool that we use to find products, Zoof, also has a lot of tools in it to help you do keyword research as well. And having the right keywords in your listing will help you get a lot more people finding your product and buying your product as well. Now, if you don't know what keywords to put into your listing, well, let me show you exactly how Zoof can make that simple. I'm simply going to copy this code up here. This is called the ASIN, the A-S-I-N. I believe it stands for Amazon Standard Identification Number. But if you copy that code, and then we're gonna go back over to Zoof, and we're gonna use what's called the reverse ASIN tool. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to enter in this ASIN for one of the top selling products. It could be any of the top selling products that you're looking at. Didn't have to be this particular ranking. It could be any one of them, but I'm gonna put this in here. And then if we scroll down, you'll notice that Zoof is then telling us the most popular search terms for your product. So you'll see that rain chain, rain chains for gutters, rain chains, rain catcher, rain gutter downspout extensions. These are all the search terms that people are searching for products like this on Amazon that you may not have known about. So what you'll want to do is copy these search terms and then make sure you include them in your product listing. Now, Zoof also makes it very simple to do that. They have what is called a listing editor for creating your listing on Amazon. So I'm gonna go over to the listing editor and you'll see that I started creating one here. And this has all the different components that you'll need in order to create your listing on Amazon. It makes it really, really simple. Uh, first off, I copied in all of the search terms that I found using the reverse ASIN tool. These are all the most searched for search terms for this product. And I pasted them in here. And then you'll notice that as I built up my listing, and I've already done a lot of the work here, 
it starts adding the search terms over to this right box that are already being used. So if I have missed out on a keyword, um, then Zoof will not put it over into the included keywords. But as I add more search terms into my listing, Zoof automatically puts them over into this box so I know that I have them all into my listing. So what I did here is I started creating this listing here. Let's say that we're gonna call it instead of the Monarch Rain Chain, I'm going to call this, let's see, the Amazing Outdoors Rain Chain, the best rain chain for gutters. Then you would add in all the bullet points that you're gonna be uh, using in your listing. Uh, there's usually five different bullet points on every listing. If you go back over here and look at the listing on Amazon, you'll see the bullet points they have here. They have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to use Zoof to create my own five bullet points. Then I'm also going to create a product description. And then one of the little known features on Amazon is that there are some hidden search terms. They don't show up on Amazon anywhere when customers are searching for them, but you can put them into your seller central account so that if people are searching for similar types of products, your product will show up for them. And so you, you see that I've added rain chime because apparently um, one thing I found from Zoof's Reverse ASIN is that people are searching for rain chimes and sometimes buying these rain chains as well. So I'm going to include that in the back end search terms. So Zoof's listing editor makes it really easy to make sure that I have all the right search terms identified and included in my product listing. Now, the other feature you wanna have for your product listing are nice photographs. So if we look at this uh, rain ch chain over here, you'll notice the main image is just a picture of the product on a white background. That's the first type of picture that you have to have for every product on there. But then you wanna have also lifestyle pictures. And those are pictures of your product being used in the real world. And you'll see they've done a pretty good job of it. They have this rain chain here with a nice uh, kind of blurred out a portrait mode picture of the rain chains in a garden. They also have it hanging off the corner of a house here. They have another one, kind of a, a blown out picture showing it uh, off the corner of the house and then they also create some other ones showing and illustrating the exact size of each of the rain chains in here so if you go out there and research what your competitors are doing and the top selling products are their types of pictures you can then have photos taken of your picture that are very similar to that as well so you'll know what to include so on your listing, you want to have a title with the main search term for your product at the very beginning of it, usually in the first five words of your title. Then you wanna have the bullet points that include lots of other search terms and use the Zoof listing editor to make sure you're including those in there. And then you wanna create a description that also has some of the search terms in there and get some great quality photos, including lifestyle photos of your product as well. So now after you create your listing for your product on Amazon, the next step then is to launch your product on Amazon. And there's three steps to launching your product on Amazon. The first is to create a discount or a coupon for your product. The next is to create what are called automatic campaigns. Uh, these are advertising campaigns that Amazon runs for you. And then the third step is to create some manual campaigns as well. Now, if you're wondering what coupons are and what they look like on Amazon, simply go and do a search for any type of product on Amazon. I did a search here for rain chains. Uh, and if I scroll down, you'll notice that they're usually these little green indicators. There we go. Um, this copper rain chain for gutters sells for $87, but they have a $10 coupon. And if you notice, most of the other rain chain products on here, they don't have coupons. Only this one does. And that's a really powerful tool to use. Creating a coupon will make your product, even as a brand new seller, stick out and stand out among all the other existing sellers on there. Now, in order to create this coupon, it's pretty simple. You'll go into your Amazon Sell Essential account. You will click on the advertising and then coupons button, and then you'll create a coupon right here. Now, it's a really simple process. You simply add the product that you want to add your coupon to. You want to give it a budget and a discount. So let's say you're going to budget $100 worth of coupons. Um, and also you want to give it a 25% discount. Then you want to schedule when your coupon starts. And also you want to target who you're going to offer the coupon to. I always make it for everyone on Amazon. And then finally you just review and submit it. It's four simple steps to creating the coupon. And then within a matter of a few hours, your coupon is live on Amazon. Now, that's the first step to launching it, creating a coupon. Again, we recommend a 25% discount, a great one to start out with. But after that, you want to then advertise your product on Amazon. Because even though you've found a great product, you found a supplier, you got it shipped, you created a listing, and you created this coupon, people need to find your product on Amazon in order to launch it and buy it. 
Now, an easy way to do that is to have Amazon advertise that product for you. Now, inside of Amazon, your Seller Central account, you have the advertising menu. Instead of the coupons, you have what's called the campaign manager. And when you pull that up, it's going to allow you to create your own advertising campaign on Amazon. Now, the first one we're gonna do is gonna be sponsored products. As a matter of fact, we're not gonna use sponsored brands or sponsored display. That's for much later on down the road. You can do everything you need to do just with sponsored products. And when you click to create your own sponsored products campaign, you'll see that you just need to give your campaign a name, a start date, a budget. It can be as little as $10. And then for the first campaign, we're gonna make an automatic campaign. And that means that Amazon's going to decide when people are searching for products on Amazon, that your product will show up. So Amazon has tons of data about all of their customers. They know your product and your competitors' products. So by creating an automatic campaign, Amazon's gonna show your product to all different types of customers and they're gonna constantly optimize it. If they realize they're showing your product to customers that aren't buying it, they'll start showing it to different types of customers. If they realize that those different customers are buying it, they'll start showing it to more customers like those customers. Amazon does a great job of promoting your product for you and learning over time the best way to launch your product. Now, in addition to letting Amazon decide who to show your products to, you can also do what's called a manual targeting campaign. And what this means is you're going to create an Amazon advertising campaign, but instead of letting Amazon decide where to show your product, you're gonna tell them when to show your product. So if we learn doing our research that rain chains and rain chains for gutters are two of the most popular search terms, then we can tell Amazon that we want our product to show up when people are searching for those products. That way, your product is going to start showing up for people searching for your types of products. Your customers will see the coupon we created, that 25% off discount. They'll click on it. They'll buy your product. And as that happens, this flywheel turns. And as Amazon sees you getting more and more sales for those search terms, you'll start showing up higher and higher naturally, even without ads, for those search terms. It's this great process that as you launch your product and get more sales, then you get more and more ranking and more and more sales on Amazon. Now, to recap, those are the five steps to launching an FBA business on Amazon in 2021. You set up your account using Amazon.com. You find a product using Zoof and then using the product spotlight tool. You then find a supplier by going to Alibaba.com and then find someone either on Alibaba or on Freytos to ship it. You create your listing using the Zoof listing editor tool, and then you launch your product by creating a coupon and then using both automatic and manual campaigns. Those five steps are all you need in order to launch and create a life-changing business on Amazon FBA in 2021. Now, if you wanna learn more and follow us and see more videos like this, then subscribe to our channel and then watch our other great free training videos as well.